All right, I'm going to work through another Lewis dot structure, Vesper structure. In this case, it's an organic molecule. And what I mean by that is it's a molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen. But Lewis dot structures apply to them just as well as they would to an inorganic molecule, something like uh, sulfur dioxide, which doesn't have carbon or, or hydrogen for that matter. So the first thing is we count up our electrons. We have two carbons, donate four electrons. So two times four is eight, and then two hydrogens. Uh, so that gives us two electrons, so a total of 10. Hydrogen can never be the central atom. So our structure, we're going to have two carbons. And well, we've got two hydrogens. So it makes sense that one hydrogen goes to one carbon. At this point, I've just drawn a framework. Could be wrong, but we'll just, we'll just go with that. Now we put the electrons in. Two, four, six. So I've used six electrons. I have four left over. We need a covalent bond between each set of adjacent atoms. So that's how I can justify that. But I've got four electrons left over. We can't use multiple bonding on hydrogen. And I'll do this real quick. So two, four. Uh, I can put these electrons in as lone pairs. And that's a good strategy at first. But it should be very obvious. Well, two, four, six. That doesn't obey the octet rule. Okay, still two, four, six, eight. Well, one carbon obeys the octet rule, two, four. Obviously, that doesn't. When you get to this position where rearranging the electrons uh, as lone pairs doesn't work, then you need to make multiple bonds. So two electrons, now this becomes a double bond. Two electrons, now it becomes a triple bond. And I still have two, four, six, eight, ten total electrons. So we haven't violated any rules there. Double and triple bonds do not uh, 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 get accounted for in Vesper. They can actually cause distortions in some case. So this particular molecule, I don't even have to redraw it, the bond angle from uh, carbon, I'm sorry, hydrogen carbon to the other carbon is 180 degrees, uh, as would be this angle. Right. So the entire molecule is linear. 